Okay, uh, I uh, visited, because I have my summer studio up on Lake Simcoe, in the middle of July I'd go into the town in Aurelia for the Scottish Parade, and at the parades, uh, they had so many people. They had ladies with Scotty dogs sitting on trailers, they had Scottish guys in kilts marching up and down. And the other thing about the area that fascinated me with greatest of respect is that the white people basically took all this land away from the Indians in the 1830s. And I have visited the reserve in Rama where they have their annual um, uh, their powwow. Yeah. And I was very moved when I was there. They were all dancing and they were all in their uniforms. I felt when I got there that we, I really was an, a usurper. But, you know, here I was in their territory with their people. But they were kind, they were respectful. I took all these pictures of them. And then I've really enjoyed playing around, juxtaposing different images and putting them together to give them even more impact. And here were the Scots who settled Canada, so Johnny McDonald and Hudson's Bay and all these people, Simpson up in, up in uh, Moose Factory of all places. Yeah. So I started playing around with these images of juxtaposing the white folk with the native First Nations. And I did a whole series of prints of the IODE ladies, of all the, the church groups confronting the Indians. And they're, they're going to be in my show in Aurelia in July. But then I met this guy, handsome fellow in his outfit and everything, a, you know, a really interesting look. And so I juxtaposed him with another handsome guy. Look at him. In his beautiful outfit, with the moon looking over eight mile points and like some because this is my way of interpreting the area and wanting to bring our images and our symbols and our iconography to the attention of people. So he was a real um, buddy and he saw the piece in my show in Collingwood in 2009. Cold water. Yeah, yes, cold sorry. Water. Thank you. Cold water. Yes, in cold water. Uh, and like a good Scott, he said to me, can I get a print of it? Right. <laughs> and now he's got one. Right. <laughs> I'm, still waiting, I'm still waiting for the royalties to come in. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> you might be delaying it for a while. <laughs> but we're both buying lottery tickets. <laughs> I, really, I really appreciate the artist proof that Charles gave me. It's hanging proudly in my sitting room. It's just Bye. wonderful. And I've got a lot of good comments about it. So I've been, I've been kind of immortalized, maybe, yeah, for a little while in my life. Anyway. And many, many, pe many people have looked at it, aside from you know that it's you. I was quite fascinated by the juxtaposition yeah. of the two characters. Yeah. And I think uh, the title you have on it, yeah. Sarah Mornell, is just, just, just right. Uh, Yeah, I just said it. it's wonderful. You know? great. This is, uh, I can't believe it happened to me, and I really appreciate all the effort Charles put into to come around this part of the Ontario, really, because it's it's a fine it's a fine community. It is like Coldwater, Aurelia, Midland, Tenantine. It's true. It's, it's, all, it's all really nice. You know? and they're, they're calling it the new frontier because there's so many people that are coming up here. Now. Yeah. Are you from here? No, I moved here in 1964. From? From Toronto. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I lived in Toronto for five years, and the rest of my life I was, I was in Scotland, of course. Now, when I moved to Midland, there was 8,000 population. That's almost double. The town partner was at 8th Street. Yeah. And now it's 17,000 or something. It's wonderful. It's amazing. Now, I spent my entire career trying to search out, examine, and celebrate Canadian icons. From the butter tart, to the moose, to the flag, to the queen, all of that. And it's been, it's been a real quest, because in other countries, people like Andy Warhol and David Hockney, they would be more, like Andy Warhol, 